what's happening gamers it's k wife here hope everyone's day is going great today today we are looking at cat cafe manager i believe we're on part seven so thanks so much for hanging out and coming by the video don't forget to subscribe if you're new and turn on all those notifications so you never miss a stream or video and uh, please consider liking the video so that um, we can put more content on the channel we can be seen in the search engine a little better and uh if you guys like the videos we do have on the channel, well, we'll be able to do even more awesome content and even better uh, content for you guys because we'll be a lot more well rested and be able to do a lot more of the things that you guys request. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. This game is made um, by Roost Games and produced by Freedom Games. It's a lot of fun. 1999 on the eShop right now and it's on um, Switch and PC currently and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Okay, so we saved um, last time in the middle of our day, and uh, let's see if we can uh, pet any cats here. I don't really see any cats. Okay, so it looks like we have two prissy cats over here. Cor ah, Cormac and this one, Ringo. Cormac sounds like McCormick Spices to me. So today I'm very excited. I'm going to be uh, reacting to the newest uh, Mario trailer I haven't heard it yet um, so it's on the Nintendo um, Nintendo Direct today and of course this video will probably be have pre-recorded like a week ago from when you're hearing it but but you guys can let me know um, what you guys think about the Mario movie I have not seen it yet I haven't heard the Chris Pratt as Mario yet as of now so let me know what you guys think of it and I'll probably let you guys know on the stream I'm having later today where we're gonna react to it live oh ye sound ready for a story coming right up also um, I'm very uh, I'm hoping I can actually what I'm most excited about today is hoping I can get out and um, get something to eat before I got I made myself ramen but I really need some like um, I need basically something to keep me awake all day because if I do eat like one meal I usually have that for nine hours I don't really get to eat in between I can't really use the stove in between uh, eating so uh, yeah my stove is kind of bad so it, it definitely takes um you know uh, the, the stove I have in my apartment it definitely uh, you know it, it takes um, it, it uh, kind of makes my house smell bad when I use it, so I have to use my stove sparingly or when Luke's asleep. Why, if it ain't on me, YouTube, me favorite cat herder, you should be proud, I know. Bonnie's cheerful voice makes it uh, matched by his pained expression. Bonner's cheerful voice is matched by his pained expression. How are you holding up, Bonner? Ah, oh, you're as canny as your granny. Nothing could get past her either. Got in a bit of a row with me, hubby Gavin, this morning. The old man's got a tongue like a viper, I tell ye. Told me to quit me job as a ferryman. I already gave up the wide sea for the man. Now he expects me to give up this tiny trifling river. Wait till ye hear why. I've grown forgetful, dangerous, so according to him. Hogwash and balderdash, I say. Um, what did you eat for breakfast yesterday? That's unfair. Oswald made me breakfast and his food's plain strange. And no, I don't remember. You win. There's a thought. I've been having Ambi YouTube. I only told you Gran. I love Catterwald and I love Gavin, but sometimes I dream of escaping. Return to a life of adventure and uncertainty. I have no idea why I ended up doing an Irish accent for him randomly in the middle of the stream. In the middle of the story, but oh well. In fact, I bet you would clear me head right up at this place and quiet has made me brain go soft. What do you say? Think you should do what makes you happy. Well said, Amy YouTube. Right now, being on me boat would gladden me heart. Thanks for listening to me troubles. Guess I ended up telling a story anyways. Kind of depressing one, but still. Thanks for listening to me troubles, Amy YouTube. I'm off to my boat. All right, so we helped him uh, feel better about traveling and being on his boat, so he gave us an aquarium. So that should be pretty cool. And looks like uh, the fisherman wants uh, sashimi and Italian sub sandwich. Okay. So actually, I think I thought that these these bowls, when it said feeds three cats, I thought it meant that basically you you could have three cats 
um, hungry and feed out of one bowl. But in reality, I think it means three refills for one bowl. I don't know. Still trying to figure that out. And it looks like all my customers left for the evening. And there's a little night crawler. So cute. All right, so we're gonna try to put uh, the aquarium that he gave us right here. I feel like when someone gives me a bigger item, I try to make room for some of... Oh, okay, so I can actually um, put some of these items here. So I can put this here. And uh, I'm actually gonna move this here and we're gonna put this... Oops, nope, oop, I didn't mean that. Okay, we're gonna put this broom over here. All right, there we go. So we got a broom, a uh, aquarium, an aquarium, a bookshelf is over here. Um, actually, I think the bookshelf would go better uh, over here. So you got the aquarium and the bookshelf. I think that looks nice. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And all our cats are kind of sleeping and hanging out. We got Lucky the cat. Nightcrawler. I'm having a lot of fun naming the cats, honestly. And uh, I'm really excited for the next series I do. I'm kind of trying to get through this as fast as I can. So, well, I mean, it's going slow. The episodes are kind of... Uh, I don't know if this will be a shorter episode because I am going to kind of rush somewhere and try to get myself something to eat before I do the Chris Pratt reveal. Um, obviously, I'm not revealing it, but I'm like streaming it. So I am just trying to get as many of these recorded as I can. All right, so let's uh, upgrade some of these characters. We haven't upgraded Steve a lot, so I'm just gonna keep upgrading him. And his cooking ability. All right, so I just upgraded Steve a lot. He's at level 13. And I guess we can, uh, actually let's upgrade some of our cats. So. I'm going to upgrade. Actually, let's upgrade Beerus. So let's train Beerus to be more Fisher type. Um, I think Beerus would be a sweet tooth. Beerus loves, um, Beerus loves food in Dragon Ball, so we're going to make him a sweet tooth and uh, make him more attuned to... We do want more nectar, so let's make him more attuned to witches. Okay, and we're kind of... So we upgraded Beerus quite a bit. And uh, we can upgrade some of these other cats eventually. And I don't know which one we're going to get away. I really don't want to give one of my cats away anytime soon. Okay, so we don't really have a ton of ingredients right now. We need cherries. We are going to need um, bottled root beer. Um... And I don't think we have the ingredients at the bottom. We got eggs, fresh fish. So we still haven't actually had the ingredients to make. We got rice now and we still don't have any flour, I believe. Oh no, we got rice. We don't have any, um, there's like something. Oh, we don't have any meat. So once we make, have meat, we can make a meat stew. So there, we still need meat and it's 105, so we're waiting for that. We're waiting. <laughs> okay, so um, we already have something going on at the shrine. That's good. And um, I think I'm going to get this meteor. I think I have one meteorite. So I don't really know why my opulent feast lore is still there, but I can also get some scratching posts that look really cute. Um, a tough scratching post, some, a toy fish. Uh, so I'll have to think about some of these things that she has new. This scratching post looks nice and so does the pink one. They all look really cute. And let's see what kind of furniture we've got because we are uh, in the process of eventually upgrading some of our furniture. Okay, so we have one of these. Um, we can always get a second one. We have one of, oh, we don't have any of these regular ones. Oh, we have one curly plant. So let's get one of these and we already have one. Okay. Um, we also could do with some lamps. I think that would be cute. So let's bring a lamp in and I'm going to get two of those. Okay, so I got two lamps and two plants. 
let's see uh, what we can do with that so we did expand this area here so we have a lot more room we can put things here we can even um, put some of these items that are kind of clogging this area up over here kind of like on a little display area I'm also going to try to um, expand some of the walls here there we go we expanded that a little bit okay oh we also might want to get um, some new bathrooms for the place eventually okay and then All right, so I'm making this area like a little play area, I guess, for the cats. So eventually we will get some more rugs and stuff like that. I do like the nice white wall. It does look really pretty. And I'm just kind of messing around with stuff. Um, um, as you can see, I'm not really upgrading the... Uh, the amount of space for the dining area because I feel like if you make the dining area too big It just is too hard to get around it. It it takes way too long to get to everyone So I I think I made a mistake this actually does look better in pink down here All right, okay, so we um, I'm gonna go with pink up here. So we have a um, white up there and pink all right great yeah I'm super excited uh, excited to see what happens with the Nintendo Direct and I also uh, got to look at the Pokemon Direct this morning so that was pretty cool too All right, so we are a little bit expanding some of this over here. I think we can move the motorcycle and maybe um, this guy over here. All right, and eventually maybe we will um, maybe expand this area I don't really know maybe we can expand the walls a little bit to the side so we have a little bit more room here okay and you also do have to be careful not to put too many things in the way like I could put more stuff here but then the cats might make a mess back here and then I can't clean it up so you do have to make sure you don't um, make it so it's impossible to clean up messes that your cat might make okay so I think that's going pretty well um, we can also um, add some of these plants here. So we've got um, a plant over on, where do we have our other plant? Oh, here's one of our plants over here. So, um, yeah, I've got another plant here and all right. So we got our other plant over here. Honestly, I think we could put, well, it's hard for me to know where this plant should go. Yeah, we can put this little plant over here and then I'm just going to move this plant. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. So we got a little plant on that side, a little plant on that side. And now let's see. We've got two of these trees, so let's see. Well, for right now, we're going to put them here, but we will figure out. Actually, let's see. Maybe we can move this towards the front of the store. And now we've got a couple lamps. Um, that would be a great place to put a lamp here. All 
Okay, so I think that is, I think our store is looking pretty good. Um, I probably could have set this up a little bit better, but we got some lamps going on here and some other cool things. And two trees here at the entrance. I mean, I don't know. I could decorate this a little better, but I think it's better than nothing. It looks pretty nice to me. And eventually we'll expand this area up here and have more room for the cats to play and maybe some more toys, stuff like that. All right, we got a C rank. I'm excited to see how much we can actually progress the story today. And uh, I just feel very calm playing this game. I'm definitely super relaxed. Yep. So let's see if we can actually get more. Uh, okay, we did spend all our money on food, so we can't really get anything there. And we are at the almost at the tea room furniture um, a bit availability. So we've expanded most of the things for like t uh, cat toys and things like that. But we really haven't done much with like tea room furniture and things like that. So um, hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more of that. And one thing that they taught us in culinary uh, school is that your kitchen doesn't have to be that large. Your dining room is the main thing. So you, your dining room could be like four times the size of your kitchen. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you work in a cramped space. Your customers are what's most important. So a lot of people actually do... Um, to save money on the space of their business they um, because of the rent that it costs per square foot they do have a very cramped kitchen they work in so that they have more seats available to serve more customers the more customers that you serve then the more money you can make so um, yeah so I definitely am um, uh, I'm definitely trying to make sure that my um, kitchen stays small and the rest of my place over here stays so that you can walk through it. But it does clog up things when you have a lot of uh, decorations. So yeah, the decorations definitely clog things up a little bit. Alright, so let's select a new project. We unlocked the tea room stuff. So let's see, we can do American diner furniture. Let's go pub furniture, why not? And then eventually we'll do diner fantasy furniture and some of these other ones. Um, I'm excited actually to do, f maybe we can do fantasy. Let's go fantasy furniture, why not? Since we have this, it is available. So let's try it because I haven't seen any fantasy furniture yet in this game, so I really do want to try that actually. <laughs> Um, I think most people probably would go to pub furniture first, but you know what? Since we're playing the game we, the way we want to play it, then we'll go to fantasy furniture. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to pet these cats out, out here, and then maybe we can call regular. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We are a husband and wife uh, channel that covers new and upcoming games. And um, my husband was a game journalist for many years. We um, have fun playing retro and modern games together that are E through teen. And uh, we just have a great community here that's very kind and fun to be around. So don't forget to subscribe, be part of the K-Wings community. And uh, if you love gaming, then stick around and be part of our community. Thanks so much for watching the video. And don't forget to like if you can. Um, that will help us out tremendously. Okay, so we have gotten everyone to level four. The witch is who we're going to need the most things from because she is going to help us with her witchy supplies, including cat toys. And I believe she helps other witches to come and give nectar to my store. And I need nectar to uh, basically have... Um, if I have more nectar, I can buy more uh, food. So I really need the food for my store. So that's why I try to be super nice to Carla. Carla Lala. So Carla is coming now. And our business is just going on as usual. And hopefully uh, my employees are leveling up and becoming faster. I may have to give some of my employees the chat skill because a lot of these um, customers don't really get chatted with. And uh, I'm the only one who can chat with them. So uh, yeah, I, I feel like I will have to make my my employees a little bit better at chatting with people. Okay, I don't see anything here. Alright, so we are going to go to town and it looks like Carla doesn't have 
ingredients for what she wants. Okay, so we're gonna need bread and we don't have any lettuce and I know witches love, in the game, they love uh, you know, lettuce and things like that. So it looks like I have only a little bit of herbs left. We're gonna get that. And we are down to everything else. Looks like it's pretty good. The only thing we don't have any of is meat. So we're finally going to get some meat. Um, let's see here. Oh, we don't have the ability. We need a hundred. Um, we need a hundred of the nectar points to get that. Hi. Have you met... Arwell, such a weird cutie. I just love to boil him in a stew. A cutie stew. Okay, that's that's kind of like I'd love to eat him up, but in a really weird way. Okay, thank you, Carla. So it's the end of our night, and uh, that was interesting. So yeah, as soon as you expand, it does look kind of bare bones where you're expanding, but oh well. We will eventually fill that in. We're also going to need to um, buy some new restrooms that we um, were able to upgrade. Okay, so let's upgrade some of our staff. I'm going to upgrade Carrie's a little bit more serving ability. And okay, that's the only ability I can upgrade her for. All right, let's see. Again, we're going to go to town and... All right, we could finally get meat, so I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so when we run out of something, we'll try to get that next item because we're pretty low on a lot of things. So we'll just wait until we get um, money to get something else. We we do have a lot of plans. I'm really hoping that um, people will appreciate all the plants in here. I'm hoping they will. Okay. We're doing well, everyone. Great job, team. Okay, I guess we are going to skip to morning. All right, we got a B rank, not too bad. All right, it is the next day and we forgot to, I forgot to clean that out. So actually, let's go and see if we can get better uh, bathrooms. We have basic bathroom, so we can actually get two more of these if we really do want. So we got two more bathrooms. I really don't know if this will help at all, but we're just going to install them. So there's a lot of different ways you can actually make your uh, cafe uh, better. So uh, I don't really know if uh, you know you can you can change a lot of things up. You could do it all with rustic tables. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you could go about doing this. Um, as you can see, we got this cool rustic table. I don't know if there's a chance to buy more bean mag chairs. There are fancy chairs you can do. You can do tea light chairs, magical chairs, um, different kinds of tables. So there's so many different ways you can make it look than how I'm making it. But I'm kind of being uh, practical about it and just trying to um, not worry about if I keep buying new, new and different furniture, I might run out of money. Also, you can sell back your furniture for a portion of the cost. So maybe I will try doing that a little bit. All right, so we got four bathrooms here and a cat bathroom in the middle. That's kind of funny to me. Yeah, so I really do need to upgrade um, some of my employees with the conversation skill. It's kind of neat that one person can begin serving something and then the other person can come in and take over. Um, your employees truly work as a team. 
I don't know if both of you talk to a customer at once. Your customers definitely have needs. So some people really do need to be talked to. And I feel like that is a realistic thing because some people do come into diners and talk to people. Like my parents, for instance, uh, do go into diners and just kind of hang out and talk to people. It's kind of their place. So it makes sense. Like, um, you know, some people just want to go to a familiar spot, talk with the waitresses there and just spend time. And I think that's really nice. All right, let's keep these customers happy. So I am missing a lot of ingredients here. Got my salad. It's a lot easier for me to just go to each customer and keep um, serving them while my employees are in the background doing all the uh, hard work of actually cooking. So um, that is a lot more fun for me, honestly. Here I am petting a cat as part of my job. Taking some orders here. Order of iced coffee. Order up. Okay, and then we're gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to get some more ingredients for the things that we don't have ingredients for. All right, so let's actually do, um, back here, we've got a couple things that we need ingredients for. Let's go back to the store and get those ingredients. All right, so let's see, we have no cheese. That's for one thing. What else are we out of? I think that's the only thing I see that we're out of. Okay, we're out of strawberries. And I think that is all we're out of right now, but we will be out of some other things pretty soon. Okay, it looks like we got a couple customers happy, which is good. Yeah, I feel like my store is running pretty efficiently. I can kind of hang back here and... Um, yeah, I can hang back here and uh, take care of the kitchen. Or I can go up and just take care of the front end of the store. Okay, we do need to fix these bathrooms. Clean these bathrooms here. Good job, team. Make sure that we have more uh, food here for the cats. Oh, wow, the cats ate a lot of food. Oh, my goodness. Well, they were hungry. They were busy being loved and being cute. That does take a lot of work. Okay, so we can actually see if there's anything else we really need to do. I don't think see any high anything highlighted, so I was able to just move back and forth with the R stick. So let's make sure we've got anything that we need for the next day. Um, I'm gonna actually go with lettuce because I feel like people do like that. Okay, and we have five coffee beans. We are going to need more coffee beans at some point, um, but I don't really know if we need it yet. All right, so I'm just going to wait and see what we run out of first before I go get things. And let's upgrade some of the staff also. Um, upgrade um, carries. Okay, and uh, upgrade. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can upgrade Zach right now. Okay, now we can upgrade some of our cats. Yeah. So I'm going to upgrade Beerus a bit. And that's all I could really upgrade. Um, and we're going to upgrade some of the other guys. And I don't really know who we're going to give away to a cat. I don't really want to get rid of Lucky Cat. I don't want to get rid of Beerus. And I don't want to get rid of Zelda. These two orange cats, I don't know, but this one, Nightcrawler, I think I would like to keep. I don't really know. I don't mind getting rid of Rascal the cat, um, who is this one that looks like a Siamese, which honestly, Siamese, as you know from the Lady and the Tramp song, that's kind of how they act. They knock things off of tables and kind of act like, um, I don't want to say little brats sometimes about Siamese. They do really want to get your attention, and I Luke really believes that Zelda is part Siamese, so that completely explains a lot. 
All right, so we're 796 there. Let's see what kind of furniture we've got available. Flower, tea house window. Um, honestly, that looks really nice. Pink wallpaper. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're going to go with pink wallpaper, pink carpet. Wow. Um, tile wall. I can get that. And I'll just do fresh vines. I'm going to do flower wall house. Okay, so we have two of the flower um, tea house windows. And I'm just going to do two regular tea house windows. And we can do a gaudy. I don't know if we have a regular entrance, um, but we will do a gaudy entrance. That's fine. I don't know how many entrances you can have into the store. Uh, that's a good question. All right. So we also have elegant chairs and we can do some more rugs. We have basic rugs. Um, this one is a cake display. That looks super cute. And you can actually get two of those. It's 280 and 355. So I may have to wait a little bit for that. Um, these fluffy rugs are super cute. Uh, another, we can get another hipster bookshelf. So maybe we could do two of those um, eventually. So there's a lot of things that, okay, so we can get an, a clock. Um, there's a lot of things that we can definitely get here. We have a lot of these plants, so um, yeah, I didn't spend all my money today, but we're going to try to decorate a little bit. So we've got some pink flooring. Let's see exactly how this would look. So if you've already cleared out a space, you can definitely, um, so you can make the floor pink. Honestly, that looks really cute. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this really adds too much to the cafe, like, as in stats, but it's sure, it sure looks cute. Alright, that looks adorable, and, uh, I kind of like the pink flooring area over here. And we've just got our little kitchen area over there, so, um, yeah, eventually we will move. I think we should move this to the, the side eventually so that we can have more room for our kitchen because our kitchen is pretty small right now. We'll kind of try to make our uh, kitchen appear bigger. All right, there we go. Our kitchen looks a little bit bigger now, and we can actually put like a blue, blue wall, so you can kind of tell the difference between our kitchen and the rest of everything. Um, that looks super cute. We can also put like a paw print uh, rug for our kitchen. That looks that looks pretty adorable. And uh, let's see what this pink background looks like. Oh, looks like so cute. Yeah, this actually looks super cute as like a tea room. Um, I could not Im imagine it to look any cuter. It looks super cute. Let's see. And we've got uh, the bathrooms here. Um, that's kind of a bathroom area, and we can also do like a kitchen, kitchen area. It looks so nice there. Um, and let's uh, let's make this little area like yellow for the cats. I don't know if that's a good idea, but kind of making it bright and happy. So this definitely brights up the uh, place a little bit. All right, so it definitely makes the whole area look a little bit different. I don't know if different is good or if different is bad, so I'm not sure yet. All 
All right, so let's actually try to incorporate some of these um, teal, these some of these um, lights here. I was gonna say uh, tea lights, but they're not really tea lights. Okay, so we did move uh, some of those tea lights there. Let's move some of this furniture. We're gonna move, okay. So I'm actually gonna move this plant here. All right, that way I don't accidentally mess it up. Okay, we're gonna move this over here. Um, and I'm gonna move this over here. And we're gonna keep, I'm gonna keep on um, moving stuff. All right, we're gonna get rid of the basic window. Okay, so we got those windows spaced out pretty well. Um, we've got our little tea light flower house window that adds the flower house uh, aspect to the game. And let's actually add some more floral windows. Oh, we have more tea house windows. So we can add another one over here and another one over here. So actually that works out really well. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that totally works out way better than I thought. And we do have to move these back. Let's see. Uh, eventually we could move something like a cake stand. We really want the cakes as I learned from my cooking school because they did teach us some things about marketing a restaurant. You do really want the dessert or cake just like you go to Walmart and you see the candy bars right there. You do really want a dessert or cake like right by the um you run it right by the entrance so people think about it the whole time they're um at dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna go back with pink. I think that, that looks a lot better. Right, eventually, we'll get some nicer toilets here, hopefully, if they give us that ability. Okay, so now we're gonna go to town and we're gonna check this out. Um, so we have only one ham and everything else we seem, seem to have plenty of. And our cats seem to be pretty healthy. Um, it could always be better, but could, it could be worse. I'm also going to expand a little bit. I don't know how much expansion points I have, but we're going to expand here and here. Okay, and we forgot to expand the rest of it here. Okay, and now we're just gonna move some of this back. Oh, I can't move the cat back right now. So that will bring a lot more uh, room for this little area. We can get a lot of toys here. We might even be able to move up um, some of this stuff. I might even do that right now. All right, and then we are going to, um, let's see. We are going to, we're going to add the pink wall in here. Okay, and the brightly um, colored background is going to be super cute. Honestly, we could try this background. I don't know if the tile one would look good. I think that just looks like a bathroom, so that's not the best. Could just do this little white wall. Actually, that doesn't look the best, so um, let's see about well, the brick wall over here. That doesn't look too bad, so we'll just try it. I do like to mix it up a little bit every once in a while. All right, so we have a lot more building materials. We're eventually gonna expand this to the side. But one thing we can do is actually try to, um, and I know it doesn't seem uh, too exciting, but I think like expanding it um, is a huge help. 
Okay, so we're gonna erase this and we'll, we're gonna erase those blocks. And there's a lot more room to put things in. We might even put some of these decorations that are around here. We might end up putting some of it in the cat room. That way we have more room to actually decorate without being um, hit by things when we're trying to actually serve customers' orders. So I think that uh, helped a lot there. Um, we're gonna go right back to town. We're gonna skip to the next morning. Okay, and it is the next morning. Yay! I'm so excited. So one thing we really do need to get is some more cat uh, toys, cat bowls, etc. Um, just happier things for the cats. So that is one thing I will be expanding. Also, as we make more meals, we are probably going to need some more like pieces to our kitchen. We do have a shake machine over here, but we're probably going to need more specialty machines. Like that. I often wonder if my employees are getting mad at me because I am, um, you know, kind of taking their job, but I don't think that they really have feelings. They're just in and of it characters. They probably aren't, but that would be funny in real life if I was kind of over there cooking their meals so they don't have to and kind of taking their job away. Okay, looks like we ran out of a couple ingredients, but we still have a few. So we can make some people their orders, but we can't make everyone their orders. So, uh, yeah, a lot of interesting things are happening. Gotham Knights is still coming up. We've got a lot of information coming out for Pokemon, uh, Harvestella, um, the Rabbids games, um, Sparks of Hope. So many games coming out in the fall, so it should be super busy um, looking at all of those. Yeah, I feel like a lot of my job is just talking to the customers. So not everyone, not all of my employees are really uh, leveled up on that. I also try to talk to the customers personally if they're a VIP customer, one of the regulars. Not really VIP, but more like a regular. Regular customers all like VIPs, um, basically. I mean, VIP would be you have a ton of money so you could rent out part of the restaurant or you're an important person. But I, what I mean is I like talking to our regular customers, those people that are always coming back. Okay, so let's actually... Um, we all will be able to get that kind of furniture. Let's select another We're gonna go furniture. We can't do furniture level two yet. So we're gonna go with pub style furniture So now we should have a lot um, More of a selection when we uh, look for furniture and stuff like that All right, okay, so we are out of ham um we are close to being out of coffee, so we're gonna get more ham. And uh, we have only one thing of bread. Okay, and bread is right over here. We also only have one thing of ice cream, so let's get that before we go out of it. And we only have one thing of chocolate. Oh wow, so this is kind of happening in real time, I feel like. Um, well, maybe I will, let's see if we can find chocolate, 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 chocolate. There's coffee, that's almost like chocolate, but no cigar. There we go, chocolate, and we are out of whatever is in the meat stew. Meat. Okay, so we cannot get, oh wait, wait a second, we do have meat. Okay, we are out of something else then. Let me see what we're out of. All right, we're out of mayo. That's definitely not meat. So when we get a chance, we'll get some more mayo. It looks like my lure is still working. I haven't had to refill it at all, so that I don't know if that's a glitch or what, but I'm not allowed to, I'm not able to refill it sometimes. Wow, these cats are taking a long time to earn their trust. I'm just holding in the Y button. It's taking forever. 
Okay, let's see which cat. I guess I will pat this uh, little white cat named Cormac, a little white and gray. Okay, we are going to try this lure because it was a special lure we got from one of our regular customers and I'm hoping that it will mean something special in the game. Hi. All right, Carla, come on by. Come on by the shop and see if you enjoy it. Oops, spoke too soon. Everyone already left. Sadness. All right. All right, so we're going to upgrade some of our staff here, and uh, let's see, magic, terrific, gregarious, enable social skill. So let's get Kari's to social skill. We do need people that can chat more with people. All right, I think we got everything we needed. We don't have any huge messes to clean up. We've got four bathroom stalls here for customers and one for cats, and then a couple other cat... Um, uh, little bamboo things over here with these cool little tree things that are actually um, litter boxes. All right, rank B, not bad at all, not bad. All right, the next day, let's go for it. Oh, we still, Beerus already wants a hug. So we're going to try to um, give away one of our cats if we can. Hopefully it will progress us um, quickly. I don't know how, uh, how quickly or what exactly it does, but I'm willing to find out because I am having uh, trouble, you know, upgrading all my cats and um, upgrading my store and everything and it does help to give a cat away every time you give a cat away they give you automatic um, heart points so that helps tremendously okay all right, so we got another cat to pet, and we have another regular to call. And I might uh, make this a little bit uh, short. I don't know, depending on what I end up doing in the the uh, stream, because um, shorter than usual, at least. It will still be like an hour or something, just not an hour and a half, because I do have to um, get myself something to eat and some coffee before I end up doing all my streams today. So I have been kind of working on stuff. The mo this morning, I did stream this morning. Uh, so this is actually CT the cat. This might be the glowy cat from the shrine, or it might be an alien cat. I'm not sure. So that is the um, food item, the lure that I believe Arvel, uh, Arvel gave us. So, um, um, that food item is kind of like looks like a Kryptonian rock so make sure to put that down if you want the weird alien cat all right so we're gonna keep going with Carla and trying to get her to visit all right hi Zelda and in real life my cat is meowing at me and saying hello so um, definitely um, subscribe and hit that like button for my cat um, she appreciates all that you guys do to help the channel stay on the air so her, um, human mom and dad can, uh, you know, maybe not work as terribly hard and kind of like make it so we can hardly function getting all these uh, videos up. So yeah, definitely, um, you know, give the K-Wings a break and, and help us a little bit, um, by, you know, liking the video, subscribing if you're new and turning those notifications on. You can also help the video by going on social media, retweeting our tweet and our Facebook post, resharing our Facebook post that we post. You can even share it on Instagram. You can share it on Reddit. Um, yeah, so doing all that. And uh, it will help us out tremendously. So thanks, everyone, for everything that you guys do. We appreciate it so much. And uh, I'm excited to see the end of this game. I feel like today has been mainly a game where I've just been kind of uh, hanging out and getting things done. So I haven't really progressed the story a ton. But we definitely did a lot of the story yesterday, if you guys do want to check that out. All right, looks like that guy is cleaning stuff. So we do need to go get and get new ingredients. Uh, being around cats is very chill. As Finley would say, I find them positively freeing. All right, so one bathroom is out of order. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can actually go to 
the next day pretty soon here. Um, I don't really know what kind of lure I'm going to get. Um, I was doing the opulent feast lure and we did the trash lure. The meteorite lure is very interesting. So feeds already have one in your cafe. Okay. I have one in my cafe. All right. So, um, I guess we will go with the opulent feast since that's what we were working on last time. Um, I don't really know if I can, uh, let's see, 52 and 655. Um, we're gonna have to wait for another one of those, uh, scratching, scratching, uh, rod things. Scratching post, scratching rod. Oh, I forgot what it was called. Scratching rod, <laughs> scratching flagpole. All right, so I guess I will just uh, save some of my little points until I really have something to save them for. I'm going to train uh, Zach as a uh, little bit into cleaning. And okay, I think we're good. We're going to skip till morning. Alrighty then, and morning time. So we have 668 out of 750 for our next level up on the board. <laughs> and there's little Zelda, our cat. She's so cute. Very cute. I'm trying to give her a pet, but I don't know why this uh, game is not letting me right now. Okay, it looks like a lot of our customers are using our bathrooms. That's always good. So these are some of the uh, recipes we can do. Uh, we could easily do a... Um, honestly, we're going to go with the omelet recipe. I think that a lot of business people wanted that one. So that's the one I'm going to go with for right now. And I think we have eggs so for the pancakes, so it shouldn't be that uh, difficult. We're going to get lettuce and... I think that's all I can get right now. Okay, so I'm just trying to find a customer that needs my help even though I don't. A lot of my ingredients are missing. Every time I take a large chunk of money to earn a new recipe, I kind of run low on ingredients because I took that money it's supposed to be spent on ingredients, spent it on a recipe, so there's that. So, um, so, uh, I don't know, I have a weird question for the chat if you guys want to answer and I will definitely look at it later. Um, let me know what, uh, what anime or TV show with cats in it or about cats is your favorite. Um, one comes to mind, Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter, um, the, uh, Chibi Monster Hunter, so Monster Hunter Stories, the anime, has a lot of cats in it. Um, J um, Yokai Watch has the, one of the most cutest cats ever, uh, Javanian. So, uh, it's so cute when okay. there is a cat in a show. They always make it ten times cuter. Good day. I'd love to visit. I will head out now. Honestly, I think when I'm done playing this game, I will probably play this some mornings just to relax while I'm, like, listening to music or just, um, looking at things online. And it just kind of like, it has like an in, I can kind of play it in between things and just to give myself like 20 minutes to relax in the morning when I first wake up. So I can kind of like wake up in the day. So who knew witches use the bathroom that witch just came from the bathroom, but it looks like she didn't leave a mess. So that's good. All right. So I'm glad we got omelets on the uh, menu. Hopefully that will be good for business people. That, um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, this game gears, like, different things towards different types of people. So, business people like omelets and, like, um, espresso and things like that. And then you have vagabonds who kind of like a salad or, and, uh, fishermen kind of like ham sandwiches. So, you have a lot of different types of people. And it's kind of hard to remember, keep track of all the different kinds of people and everything that they like. So we're going to go with this uh, next one here, which is uh, American Diner Furniture. And we're going to keep trying to level up uh, Carla because if we level up at least two characters to level five, 
I believe that should really help progress the game a lot more. Oh, Zelda's so cute! Me and this fox had a lovely chat the other day. Um, not that I can understand any of her weirdly cute yell yelping. I know foxes. I have seen foxes on videos before and they do look super cute yelping. Definitely. So we're going to uh, refill all these food bowls. Make sure that there are no messes. And the cats in this game just make the most adorable little meows. It's so cute. All right, so uh, I think we did everything there. We're going to go to town, see if we can um, get another tough scratching post, um, maybe another fish toy, and uh, I don't really know what else we're going to get there. So um, we do have some more building points, I believe, so we can expand uh, some of our building area. We might expand some of it. Uh, some of our dining area over here. So uh, let me actually try to expand some things. I'm going to decorate right now. And I don't really know if I like the pink unnecessarily, but we are going to try to use it to expand. And as I said, I, I said I don't really expand my dining room, but we're going to give it a try. Let's see. Alright, so five up here. We're going to try to go five spaces here. And I always kind of forget how much room I have to build. Okay, we're going to go over here. And uh, we've got 219 uh, building blocks. Okay, let's see. All right, so it looks like we did all of that. Let's see. Okay, so we don't have any more building blocks. We're also going to move all of this stuff here. Let's see. So you always do want to move the um, table first because if you move the chair first, it will make you delete it sometimes. So you definitely want to move the table first. That way there's no question that you're allowed to move it there. It's kind of a weird rule, but um, it only allows you to put chairs on table, uh, like next to tables like that. Okay, and we are going to redecorate some of this. This can go outside. This is here and then um honestly we can just move uh, sometimes i move um a chair over there if i'm trying to move stuff okay and then we are going to move it on the other side also so we're going to move the table first table over here and then eventually i will try to um make more room on that side okay all right I think that uh, does it pretty well we're also gonna move some of the stuff out of the way here um, I'm just going to get rid of this scratching post well actually we could leave it there not sure and then we did get some new plants I'm trying to figure out where I put those um, got two new plants that are exactly the same. Oh, here we go. So here are our plants. I'm going to try to put uh, the plant over here in the um, area where the cat is. Okay. All right. And we've got our plant over here. So event eventually we'll get all of this stuff uh, looking a little better. For, for right now, it doesn't look too bad. I don't even have the, um, I don't even feel like getting that, that fixed over there, but I will have to get one thing fixed. So let me just fix that real quick. 
And while I'm doing that, I may, I may just, um, now that I'm fixing this, I may just end up fixing the other thing I wasn't going to fix, uh, which is just making sure we have stuff on the walls. So we're going to, uh, put pink stuff on the walls. Okay, here we go. All right, so I think we're doing pretty well and we are going to skip to, uh, the next morning. Let's go for it. You are at your cat limit, uh, consider giving a cat away for more cats. So we really do want to upgrade our cats. So let's see what cats we can upgrade so that we can give some of them away. So honestly, let's see if we can upgrade. Honestly, I want to, I don't know. I really like the shaggy one and I really like Beerus and Rascal is kind of on my heartstrings. I don't know which cats I want to give away. Let's train Bartholomew. Uh, do we want him as a networker or uh, gorgeous? <laughs> oh, adds art to your cafe or 10% for all business people. Well, let's make him a business person and uh, we're going to add um, artist points so we can give him away to an artist. And uh, okay, and Sweet Tooth or Cat Burglar, let's give him. So now we can actually give this cat away to an artist or to. I, um, to, to an artist or, or to a, uh, vagabond. So we will definitely think about one of those so we can get some points. So we can definitely give this guy away and then we can work on, um, upgrading some more of these. I have upgraded Beerus a lot. Maybe next time I can upgrade him, give him to a witch, but I don't know if I really want to do that. Poor Beerus. All right. So we're going to upgrade Zoe again because I'm so happy that she always helps me out. We're going to go with people just have a way with words. Enable social skill. There we go. So I was just saying that would be great if Zoe could help me out with that. Okay. So I think we're doing pretty well. Let's, uh, oh yeah. Looks like customers are coming in at the beginning of the day here. And this is what our cat cafe looks like so far. You can always zoom in and out as the day goes on. So I, yeah, I, I do like, I do like this. I can see a lot more and see kind of where I'm going. All right. Okay. So it looks like we're already running out of ingredients for some of these clients. So we are going to have to make sure we get those ingredients to town. We need to get the ingredients. All right. Should we learn? We already, um, baked potato that really shouldn't be hard to learn that recipe and it's 250. So honestly, we are going to get baked potato recipe. Um, I feel like that will really help people. We have no bread, so we're going to get that. And we have no, we have chocolate. We have no coffee beans, so we need that. And, uh, we are going to have to figure out the rest. I'm just going to get herbs because I know we're going to run out of that at some point. All right, so we did learn some new recipes, so hopefully that will advertise for tomorrow for people to come in. Um, I feel like at the beginning of the day, whatever recipes you learned by the beginning, you know, the beginning, the morning that or before the morning was basically, I feel like whatever recipes you learned the night before kind of get advertised and people come in for those recipes. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. I don't know how I feel about petting this alien cat, but it is kind of funny seeing a green alien cat. It would be really weird if I adopted an alien. Uh, we'll see if we end up adopting an alien cat. <laughs> All right, let's uh, pet this little guy. His name is CT. I don't know what, what kind of cat, if you guys um, adopted an, um, a cat that was an alien, what would you name an alien cat? Um, is there like a famous alien? You can name it E.T. Oh, instead of extraterrestrial, cat terrestrial. Maybe that's what it was doing, E.T. instead of it's cat T. Hi, good day. I'd love to visit. I will head out now. Okay, thanks, uh, Carla. All right, so we are missing a lot of ingredients. I do need to go and... Grab some of the, uh, the ingredients at the store. So I am hoping that I can kind of uh, move some of the bookshelves into the um, little cat play areas back there so they're not clogging everything up. 
Okay. Uh, let's go to town and we're gonna try to get some more um, food that we need and we have no money for anything So we are out of cheese. We're out of bread. We are out of ham. Um, so this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad <laughs> Pretty bad indeed uh, Let's upgrade some of our staff. I'm gonna upgrade Zach and see uh, we're gonna give him more cleaning power and Next time maybe I'll earn ask. Uh, I'll give him more cat powers all right, so it's a good thing we got um, Zoe teaching her the social skills. That's really good. Uh, customers really like it when you talk to them, so that's really fantastic. All right, and there's little Zelda, so cute. I'll just let Zach pet my uh, cat, Zelda. Okay, let's make sure we don't have any um, messes over here. And we still need a lot of ingredients, so let's go back to town and see if we can get any of these ingredients at all. So we need, um, we have bread actually, so we have two fresh fish, we don't have any ham, we have herbs, so let's get ham as one of our ingredients. Uh, let's see if anyone needed ham. It doesn't look like they did. Looks like I should have tried to get ice cream for shakes, but I kind of messed that up. So hopefully someone wanted a ham sandwich. Uh, I don't know and I can't call a regular and Carla is already here. I'm so happy Plaza and the Puddin is open once more. Nine uh, Nyan would be proud or not nine. Very cool. No little Zelda don't go out the door. Look at that looks exactly like my cat and she's so cute and I did name her Zelda in this game. All right, so first things first, let's try to level these cats up and okay, where is the, okay, somebody already cleaned that area. Awesome. Okay. All right, so let's, um, let's, uh, level, let's see if we have any way to level these cats up. Bartholomew can be leveled up. Oh, okay, we already leveled Bartholomew up. Let's go with Lucky the cat is leveled up to level six and we can make this cat like um All right, this cat has um This cat is lazy and it has traits for a vagabond and also for fishermen That would be a great cat for a vagabond or fisherman. And just so you guys know, if you guys uh, don't understand already, or I forgot to mention, so these cats in your store will bring people into your store, so if they have traits, like for instance, this cat will bring punks into my store, so I may not want to um, give him away. We'll see, though. Okay. And I think we're just going to go skip to morning, skip to the next day, but first... Uh, let's see if we can actually go to the uh, town hall and or a general store actually okay so we can go to burgundy carpet that looks really nice floral wrap uh, full wallpaper it looks really pretty and um, diagonal wood flooring looks uh, really nice I don't think we have a gaudy entrance yet so we could get one of those magic entrance magic window interesting purple wall player underground wall so the underground wall would be interesting let's get um uh, let's see magic uh entrance i think would be super cute and we have uh, let's see what else we have available okay so we are gonna have to wait a lot of these are magical trees okay um So this is actually going to cost us, okay, flowery tea house window, we can do more, and a magic window, 455 uh, points. Um, honestly, let's do, oh, I only was able to do one of those, and we have, uh, we already got the magical entrance. Okay, flowery tea window, 255 uh, points. Um, yeah, we can do uh, another flowery tea window. That's completely fine. And red diner wallpaper. Very cool. Overgrown wall looks so cute. 
So we'll try that one. Okay, so let's actually um, put some of the things that we got into our cafe. First of all, the um, overgrown wall looks super interesting. But before we do that, I'm going to just kind of... Um, there we go. We got blue all across there. And we're just going to add um, this blue over here. All right, let's see here. So um, then what we really want to do is I'm going to try to uh, I'm going to try to add this new wallpaper that I got. Um, I think I made it. First of all, let's see what this wallpaper looks like. That looks kind of cute for the kitchen area. It makes the kitchen look super cute. And uh, let's uh, try this wallpaper back here. It definitely makes the place look a little bit more magical. So this looks like a magical area here. Um, I'm also going to move uh, some of these items. So I'm going to move this over here. We've got a cool plant. So I'm going to keep that in the corner. Um, actually, no, I'm going to keep that right here. And then we're going to go to the food bowl. And we are going to move um, this over here. We've got and our food bowl. Um, got a little rug there and let's move our rug okay so I think that's looking pretty good also another thing I'm gonna do is we're going to try to make different rooms here so to do that we do need to delete some things so you're coming along here this is going well so we're gonna just gonna delete that that way we can kind of extend that wall a little bit uh, so yeah we were able to extend that wall a tiny bit then uh, all right so let's use our cat We've got our cat um, carpet here and now that's making our kitchen look a little bit bigger um, okay and let's uh, Let's try that magical wall for the whole area here. So we didn't really improve our kitchen a tremendous amount, but we did add the magical wall. And now this isn't floating out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I also think we should just move this here. Okay, good, good. So that's our little kitchen area. And uh, some of these things um, I feel like I'm going to get duplicates of and kind of put them in both areas, both areas for the cats over here. Uh, so I'm actually going to work on that right now. Let's actually go to the store. Well, actually, we have um, two scratching posts. So I feel like every cat needs scratching posts. We're going to put one right here and right over here. So we got two scratching posts in the um, store. That's going to look super cool. And uh, let's see, we've got a plant. That's going to be important. I'm going to put that plant over here. And I may be uh, trying to make the, the thing look too perfect, so I don't really know um, you know, how perfect uh, it's supposed to look, or if this is kind of eclectic and it should just look like that. All right, and then I think we should just, um, let's see. I think we'll put this little blue floor in here, in this area back here. Oops. And I kind of went too far. All right, so we've got a little uh, cat area back there, and we've kind of forgot to uh, put the blue area over here. All right, so we've got two little cat areas. We are going to get some more rugs and things like that. Um, so um, little by little, we have a lot of the kind of extra junk that we're kind of storing right here, but eventually I would like to move some of it up here so that we can have a clean walking um, way for everyone. Okay. So we are working on a lot of the furniture 
we can definitely get this diagonal wall. Let's get those bricks and burgundy carpet, I think is gonna look really nice. And I was only able to buy one fantasy window, so maybe we can put one in our shop and then maybe we can get more later on. Okay, so we do have bar stool unlocked, red hot diner table, wizardly table, expensive coziness. So that actually might work really well uh, to get some wizardy tables, but we will have to spend a lot of dough for that. All right, so let's actually shell out some dough for what our customers really want, which is their kind of food they like to eat. Got some cherries. Um, we already have coffee beans and we already have herbs. Pumpkin, we have that. So it doesn't look like that many people are in demand for pumpkins. We've had 10 for some time. So I think this is uh, looking pretty cool. Some of it doesn't really look connected to the rest of it. We got two pretty big rooms for the cats up there and maybe I can expand it to kind of go together and eventually it'll be one big room in the in the top and uh, all of our stuff for the cats will be in that room. We'll see. Uh, then maybe customers can come in that area. So um, I guess we're going to skip till morning, see what we can see. Okay. All right. And we have skipped to morning. We are definitely going to uh, try to upgrade some of our cats so we can give one away because we do want a chunk of... Um, you know, we do want a chunk of points so we can progress the story a little bit faster. So that's kind of what the giving away the cats do. It does, um, progress the story a ton faster than if you didn't give the cats away, especially if you upgrade the cats, uh, before you progress the story that helps tremendously. All right. So, uh, I guess I will pet these cats in the wild and uh, try to upgrade everything. Everything you do does upgrade, um, you know, your cats and it upgrades the story. Even if you don't give any cats away, uh, you know, you are able to upgrade just by doing tasks like petting the cats and different things like that. So once we give away one of our cats, we will be able to get another cat. So we'll be able to get one of these. And I'm not able to adopt it yet because I'm full on cats right now. All right, so let's see who we're going to call. We are almost at the end of upgrading Carla, so we'll call her over. And we'll make sure we have the ingredients for whatever she wants to eat. So uh, maybe I will wait and see what she actually wants before I serve her something. I feel like whatever it is, we're not going to have the ingredients for it. But you know what? Might as well think positive. Um, maybe the thing that she wants will have the ingredients for. That will be completely fine. All right, so we're sitting there at 630 out of 750 um, cat points. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll step that up pretty soon. Milkshake machine, best thing ever. You can also use a blender to make milkshakes at home, which honestly is kind of its own mini machine. All right. Yeah, I used to make milkshakes on the Nutribullet a lot, and I now make it on the um, Ninja Blender that Luke got me many, many years ago. All right, that guy's happy. He's got his milkshake. A few people are sad. They don't have what they need. So I will try to uh, make that possible. I'll just respond, sorry, I just work here. Yep, so we just upgraded that part of the shrine. Let's see if we have any new projects. So it looks like we don't have any ability. There's nothing in gray. So there's nothing we can really, um, there's nothing, even these things that are kind of a darker color, it doesn't mean that, that you can use them as projects. So we don't have anything grayed out at all. It's probably not the best thing. Okay, so I'm taking orders, taking names, oh yeah. Alright, so sometimes, oh wow, my employee Zoe is going by pretty fast. 
All right, so let's see if we can uh, pet these stray cats. Um, I guess I will pet this one and then we can adopt either one that we want to. But we actually have to um, make it so that we can actually adopt by giving away one of our current cats. Hi. Plus, and the pudding has come a long way, hasn't it? It's all thanks to your hard work, Amy YouTube. All right, so she did not upgrade, so she's almost upgraded. Wow. Wow. So she did not upgrade. I guess I just wasn't cool enough for her. I don't know. I feel like my uh, restaurant was pretty cool, but maybe it has, maybe it's too big, maybe it has issues. I don't know, but um, I thought she was going to level up, but usually if I, if I feed her right away and talk to her, she'll level up. I really didn't get a chance to feed her right away. Okay. Um... All right. Okay, so uh, let's uh, upgrade some of our cats here. I'm going to upgrade this guy to, um, I think we want to give Bartholomew away, which I feel bad about. Um, and uh, let's uh, upgrade Beerus. Okay, and we will um, skip till morning, I guess. All right, total earnings 185. Oh wow, we still have to earn a lot more. And I, I think maybe, maybe the more complex dishes that we cook and the more customers we bring in, we're gonna earn a lot more. So just have to keep plugging away, getting better at uh, cooking, getting better at cleaning, all the things that I need to get better at to for my character to um, improve in her uh, world. Okay. So actually, let's go to the town hall and let's try to give a cat away. Um, so this one is looking for a cat of Vagabond. And I think that this would be a great cat for Vagabond Bartholomew. Um, but it would also be a good cat for an artist. Jean-Luc um, would be great with this cat and I don't really know if I should upgrade him a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, business people really want a cat. Let's see what cat they want. It could be Lucky the cat or um, Rascal the cat, which uh, I don't know. And there's Nightcrawler. So he can be one of those those people. Let's see. Witch is looking for a cat and um, business people and witches. And Fisher Folk, Fisher Folk is looking for a cat. Um, I mean, I guess we will just go with, uh, Vagabonds. Let's give, uh, Vagabonds Bartholomew. Honestly, this might not be the smartest decision, but it will give us some points, so that will be good. So, let's see if that helps. Okay, I can get a jukebox. There's a bunch of new things that I can put on the wall. So since we unlocked, um, I think it was diner furniture, we got a lot more ability to put more things on the wall and uh, different kind of art and things like that. Okay, so we got more elegant flowers, grape bush, uh, luscious flowers. So a lot of these are tea house fantasy. This is a diner uh, thing we have. Big Cathanthia. Oh, you already have two in your cafe. This is a retro palm. And I don't really... 285 plus 355. So I'd have to... I could only get one of them at first. Let's see if there are any um, new rugs here. you got a jukebox. Um, old mate clock. Um, let's see. Wood crate. Uh, yeah, I don't really know if there's anything I would really get here. Maybe I could get some more lamps. I think those would be pretty cute in the store. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so I got another lamp. We'll probably get some more later. I think the lamps look super cute. Okay, so that that is um, somewhat connected there. Alright, so eventually maybe we can move all of this into like a back room back here and connect it all. Um, that might be kind of neat. Alright, in the meantime, it looks pretty weird and gaudy, but we are working on it. 
All right, so people with, um, I don't want to say normal uh, needs for food, but kind of people with normal taste buds are coming in now. I don't really need uh, sashimi or anything fancy. Just people who want plain old food, so I appreciate that. Okay, so we need definitely um, more hands in the kitchen here. And I'm going to go to the um, town hall, and we're going to try to get some more food. Okay, so I could do biscuits and gravy. I'm just going to try to concentrate on what I'm out of. So I'm out of cherries, I believe. So, oh, those are strawberries. So we have to get more strawberries. We definitely don't have any lettuce, so I will do the lettuce. Um, uh, we don't have any mayo, so that's important. Uh, we don't, we hardly have any potatoes. We have rice. We don't have any, we hardly have any strawberries. Okay see all right so I'm just gonna upgrade anything I don't have less than if I have if I have three or less I'll try to upgrade it oh oh my goodness I forgot so tomatoes there we go there we go okay actually we'll keep what we have we have uh, 214 nectar which is what we purchase um, food with so we're just gonna stick with the 214 network nectar that we have so we actually don't have anything at the shrine and it hasn't opened up anything for us. So that go to shrine thing will just kind of be hanging out here until uh, the next time. I thought I already gave away one of my cats to um, um, on the message board there. Okay. And a new kind of cat is here. We uh, did the opulent feast cats. So let's try the opulent lure. See if we can um, adopt one of these guys. So I believe we need to get our level to a certain level before we can um, actually uh, progress with the shrine. So um, I guess I will uh, pet this cat and adopt this cat. Um, I think we're going to call the cat... Um, um, what should it be called? Um, wolf. I think it looks like a wolf to me because it's gray and white. It looks like a wolf. Luke doesn't like the way I say wolf, but <laughs> I was going to name it like Snowflake, but I think we're going to name it Wolf. We'll have it be a guy cat. Um, all right. And then we'll work on the next cat. Uh, he looks pretty cute. All right. So Wolf is that cat. And um, I do like the opulent feast cats. Um, and let's, uh, you know what, I think it would be more interesting, though, if we did keep going with the meteorite thing. Um, uh, so we have cats serve five, expensive three. Um, so we have three of these, we have three of these, and we have zero of these. So we do need another fancy food bowl, uh, when we get a chance. Um, okay, and... Let's go back to market, make sure we have the ingredients we need. So we had barely enough ingredients to get through the day. So let's make sure we have uh, everything that we need here. Okay, we don't have any fresh fish, so now we do. And we didn't have any potatoes, so let's get the potatoes. Um, so another thing we will be running out of pretty soon is coffee. So I'm going to get that. And honestly, there's a lot of other things we need to get, but that's the main things right now. Let's check out the... We still don't have the opportunity to upgrade anything else, so we can't do that. Um, and we've already checked the pet goods. We got the meteorite um, dish, so that was interesting and exciting. Uh, furniture, let's see what kind of things we can get. We got... Um, we did get one lamp, so let's see if there are any other lamps around for accessories. All right, and lamp pipe. Let's see if we can get a lamp here. And eventually we do want to get some wizardry tables. For that we do need, um, I think those are, are those vagabond points? I don't know, they're green points. So I think they might be Vagabond points. So um, I guess the Vagabonds are kind of like wizards, like Merlin or something. Oh, we also have Barrel Table available. Um, so a lot of coziness, cozy table. Um, so 
All right, so ooh, candle holders, those are kind of neat. And uh, so we need a lofty lamp, 228 and 285. So we don't have 285 coins, so we just have to wait for that. All right, so let's get back to work and we're gonna put another, we're gonna put an alien lure in there. See if we can get an alien cat in our cat cafe. So I feel like we're doing pretty well. We really didn't uh, call Carla today at all. Maybe we can call her and uh, hopefully we can level her up to level five. I'm hoping by the end of this um, episode so that uh, we can progress the game greatly by tomorrow or the next time one of these episodes actually goes up. And I am excited about several different laid back games that I have in the works and also possibly a game I'm going to be doing um, in this style where I just post the videos on K-Wings Plus Ultra. So, okay, so it looks like we have a lot of customers to feed right now, so I'm going to try to help my employees as much as I possibly can. Alright, and some of this stuff I still haven't moved over. Let's try to... Uh, get these uh, dishes to their uh, customers. Hi, Hi MB YouTube dear, hello. I finally talked with my moms about witching university situation. We've come to an understanding. Uh, does that mean you can stay? It sure does. Carla Lala's Pet Emporium serves the desperate pet owners of Catterwall another day. Ho ho! I told them that you helped me realize that I want nothing more than to help the animals. I had to whip up 14 different frog boil cures to prove to them I already knew all the animal curing potions. But in the end, they understood. They even gave me this cute picture of me as a child. Playing with this large black cat from the woods told me I loved animals even as a little Tyke. I see now why it was so tough for them to understand. Witches have been through difficult times. Non-witching people often judge and shun us. They've been through a lot of pain. Pain they wish to spare me by confining me to witching spaces. To prove to them there's non-witchy folks that are caring, sweet, and loyal, I actually told them to come to pause in the pudding, dear. That's right, you served my mums. Sorry for not telling you. I'm getting a bit cheeky, aren't I? When I told them you were my friend and that I have many other friends who helped me like Bonner, Finley, and Mateo. They got less worried. Thank you, MB YouTube, for helping the cats and for helping the people of Catterwall. There truly is no one like you. Um, I can't I can't do it without you. Uh sure there are you for starters. I should do that. You really think so? That is truly a lovely thought, Amy Chan. A thought I will cherish. My moms are treating me to a magic dinner tonight, and it is like normal dinner, but with more magic. So I should be going, dear. I already look forward to when I see you next, Amy Chan. Bye! All right, so you got a stray lure to your faint meowing yearning for this doll. So that may be the 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 lure for that um that uh, shadow cat that we've been talking to that has been like telling us um, about the the um, shrine because she said that she played with a black cat in the forest. So maybe that's come full circle to the cat that's ta talking to us every single time. That's my guess, but I could be wrong. All right, so that was very exciting. So we have actually gotten to level five for two different people. Um, you know, we were able to uh, progress a lot. So let's see if we can, because we did progress with that character, let's see if we can actually go to the shrine and um, progress uh, to the next um, thing to work on for our cat cafe. Because uh, we weren't able to uh, before, so we're going to try our best to now. Uh, okay, so let's go to the shrine. And we have so many things to do, honestly, but we're gonna, just going to go to the shrine. And looks like we do have more things available at the shrine. And um, we can either get more furniture or we can add another cat. So I think we do really want to add more cats. Uh, I, I think we really do want that. It's not letting us go to the adding a cat thing. So uh, maybe I kind of glitched the game. Let's go to the shrine. And um, it says it's grayed out. So it should allow me to, but it's not letting me. So let's go fantasy furniture. So maybe the last thing you can do is add cats. Um, so fantasy furniture requires two regular relationships at level five and at least two at real 
level four so we do have that now two people just became level five so that's really cool all right well um thank you guys and gals for watching today really appreciate that i think um we did pretty well we upgraded our cafe we designed it we um, added some lamps in here we're eventually gonna make i think i'm gonna delete some of this area over here and i'm just gonna make like a room back here so it's easier for my cats to hang out and um yeah so it will be easier i won't have to make two of everything um we can just kind of put a huge um cat um, area back here so um yeah and we've got like a little kitchenette area and um, maybe we can add some of this stuff to our back room so uh so far it's uh, super cute i've got my little my little zelda cat here and she seems to be um a lot of fun just like she is in real life and in the game and we have many different employees um there's a lot going on in this cafe and i think we're progressing really well i think we're gonna find an end to this game and i'm super excited about it honestly so i cannot wait all right guys and gals well thanks again for hanging out don't forget at 5 30 today we have a, um, another stream on Disney Dreamlight Valley and, um, yep, and, uh, streams all day, t uh, every day. We've got uh, three streams a day, guys and gals, and sometimes a video in the afternoon or a late at night. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys at 530 Eastern time for our next stream. God bless and happy gaming. Yawn. <laughs>